Good morning and happy Friday, everybody. It's God of War Friday here on Oxhorn Channel. Uh, so glad to have you today. I'm uh, hopeful that you joined me last night as we played a brand new game called Absalov, End of the Gods. It's a really interesting game because it also is dealing with Norse mythology, and yet they managed to weave in sci-fi. It's pretty interesting. Uh, we played a good couple hours of the game last night, and it was a lot of fun. Think I'm getting a handle on the gameplay. Uh, so we'll be picking up with that again next Scotch and Smoke Rings a week from yesterday and the next coming Thursday. But today's God of War Friday. Now, gotta let you guys know, I've got a guy coming to the house to do an installation for me. At around 11, that's in about an hour and a half. Uh, so at that time, I'm going to need to get up and let him in and give him instructions. It's going to take me like five minutes, but then I'll be back, okay? So I'll step away from the computer at that time for about five minutes to let him in, and then I'll be back. <clears throat> for the weekend, I hope to have my lore video done. I am making great progress on it. We are continuing with the full story of Fallout 76 Steel Rain. We are going to the Uncanny Caverns. Now, I know that I've already explored the Uncanny Caverns in a previous lore video, but with Steel Rain, the Uncanny Caverns have changed a little bit, and we actually get to go with some squad mates which is going to be pretty fun. So, it's going to be an interesting episode. We meet some new characters, including um, the people who know Doc Solomon Hardy. So, we get to tie in those two videos. Should be an interesting episode. Cleansed in Fire, with a super chat on YouTube, says, My advice for today, do side quests to better gear. You may find some difficult fights in your near future. Okay, well, that's definitely some good advice. Thank you for that one, Cleansed in Fire. Uh, good to see everybody on the show today. Toby Noble on uh, Facebook today who says, Morning, Ox. Last night's broadcast was great. Thank you, Toby, for joining me last night. And, of course, it's great to see all of the regulars and the members and the Patreon subscribers on YouTube today. Alt Grindel with a gold derby, Julian Z with a gold derby, Sean Fernango with a gold derby, John DeGM Buradino, Barry LeCount with a gold derby, Chininator with a gold derby, Cleansed in Fire, Slatty Bartfast with a gold derby, Craig Euler, Deuteronomus with a gold derby, Jersey, Naughty Applejack, Matt Siski, uh, Daniel Holmes, Jack Beaver, and uh, Julian Z with a super chat says, Ox, so good to see you. On this once again early God of War Friday, can't wait to see how far you get today with Kratos and Atreus, or uh, Atreus, At Atreus. Can't wait for more Steel Rain. Awesome. Thank you, Julian Z. So, I guess the big question is, do we continue with the primary plot or do we do some side quests to get better gear? Not sure what the best option is. But I do know that to continue, we must continue. Right, where were we? Behind the lock, only a very special chisel can carve the travel rune to Jotunheim. Return to the boat. We got the chisel tip, but Thor's awful sons, Magni and Modi, attacked us. Father put his axe through Magni's face. And Modi ran away, but I got so angry I almost got sick again. I must fight it. We just need the travel rune to Jotunheim now, and we can finally scatter Mom's ashes. All right, uh, so that's right. I'm beginning to remember what we 
uh, did in our last episode. We had just solved a puzzle, gotten a chest, and climbed up there. Uh, we defeated Magni and uh, Modi, and then our poor son got sick somehow. Just make sure you watch each other's backs in the storeroom. Wouldn't want to lose my loyal customers. Hey, did you hear? Magni, the Aesir god, son of Thor, dead! I know! Now Modi's on a rampage across Midgard, looking for the killer, swearing that once he finds him, he'll... Oh, shit, that was you guys. <laughs> we should probably discuss that more quietly. Or not at all. I think that's a great plan. <laughs> Did you guys hear? <laughs> Let's do it. Leviathan Axe Upgrade. Oh, yeah. One frozen flame. So much blood. A polishing on the house. All right, new skills available from the skill tree. My opinion is side quests, Ox says Julian Z. Thank you, Julian. Yes, dear boy. What did we miss? All right, I've got the deadly grip of vitality. Man, everything is so expensive. Let's see, sell. Frozen flame. It requires the chilling mists of Niflheim. God. Muspelheim, Eye of Power. Just so expensive and I don't have anything. Axe attacks, Breath of Thamer. Way too much. Oh, I need one more Aegir's Gold and I could get the Fury of the Ice Troll. Wow. That looks cool. How about you, young one? And we're back to you. What a surprise. Right, let's go. We gotta retrace our steps, don't we? Julian Z says, Ox, I guess you could also go back to all of those locked hidden areas. I believe they are marked on the map now that you have the chisel to open them. I could do that, yeah. I mean, backtracking. I don't know. I understand that they made this big, beautiful, elaborate world, and they want you to explore it and get to know it and absolutely love it. I don't think the lad's doing too well. I'm fine. <coughs> Nothing to worry about. If so, then keep up. Yes, sir. But I, I hate backtracking in video games. I just absolutely hate it. All right, well... Magni didn't come back to life. That is interesting. It's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. That may be significant. Uh, Cleansed in Fire says, oh, oh, also, you can upgrade your runic attacks and summons using experience. They're a lot better when upgraded. The orange blips show what the upgrade gives. Uh, 
Plus one damage. Oh, holy cow. Yeah, you're right. Plus one damage and plus one frost. Tears revenge. Well, I got to decide what do I like. I mean, I do like that. The problem is that it takes so much time. Charge of the white bear. Strike of Utgard. Oh, wait a minute. Is that the one that I saw for sale? Okay, so to upgrade them... Well, I've got 17,000. I mean, that was cool. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like, there's so... I don't know which one I like the best. So this one, the one I've got equipped has the most damage. And if I upgrade it, it just adds plus one to damage. This one has just as much damage, but also adds two frost. And if I upgrade it, it gets plus one damage and plus one frost. This one is not nearly as powerful. It separates damage between Frost and Stun for a total of five. This has got six. Uh, maybe that's how I do it. Six plus two is eight. Four, five, plus two, seven. Five plus one is six. Three plus two. Two stun. Wow. So this could do a four stun. Uh, that, I mean, that would be really useful. Better bring it up to five. So I guess the most bang for my buck is Njord's Tempest. If I upgrade it. Okay. I can upgrade it further. Further increases the number of rotations by holding down left click. Also increases the size and strength of the whirlwind effect around Kratos. 9,000. <coughs> 9,000. Holy cow. Um, I don't know if I like this. When I tried it out in my last fight, it, uh, it was okay. Let's see, River of Knives. Ah, uh, that one's fun. I like that one. The Br Frost Giant's Frenzy. I like that. Yeah, that's nice. Evaldil's Anvil. Let's see, that was, uh, are, are you able to see the replay? No, my head's blocking it. I enjoyed this one. It's, it's already maxed out on Frost. And then Th Theonzi's Talon. Uh, that one was... Eh. Alright, so this has got a total of six. This has got seven already. This has got six. This has got seven. This has got seven. So, let's see. River of Knives was good. Evaldi's Anvil. I enjoyed that. Upgraded again, it gets one damage, one frost, one stun. This one only gets one frost if I upgrade it. Level three gets one damage. Level three for, from this one gets another damage, stun, and frost. Let's put the River of Knives on again. Let's upgrade that. Nine thousand. Ooh. Launches two additional lines of ice shards, greatly increasing the width of attack. That's so cool. All right, now, wait a minute. I did upgrade my axe, didn't I? So I've got some new skills here. Yeah, yeah, I just unlocked a new skill tree. It's the last one. It's skill tree number five. All right, ranged combat. I've been really enjoying ranged combat. 
Um, a close combat. Let's see. What, what's this one again? Switch stances. Yeah, I don't... By pausing momentarily after any Leviathan Axe attack, once in a new stance, press left-click to perform a sweeping attack. What? All right, hold on. Let's see what this one is. Increases the maximum number of targets to eight. That's 3,000. We got to get that. I use that all the time. While barehanded, aim and press right-click to instantly recall the Leviathan Axe and perform a powerful slam attack. <coughs> 2,000 for that. I could work on the boy here. I could maximize his power here. Massively increase arrow damage and melee damage. Massively increase the Talon Bow's firing rate. I should probably do that. Alright, his uh, expert combat is totally maxed out. Let's see, let's get back to... I could get that. Let's do it. <laughs> While barehanded. Wants to do a kick instead of aiming. Hmm. I'll figure it out later. Oh no, the kid is sick! Cleanston Fires says aim, barehanded aim. Oh, right, right, right. There it is. Oh, that's so cool. That's great. Thank you, Cleanston Fire. No! <coughs> Kid's gonna be sick the entire rest of the game? Is that the way this works? Can I quick save? I'm gonna do a hard save here. Okay. 
Got the Dust of Realms. Cool. Realm Tears closed. Four of 18. What? What is this place? Fisherman would bring the day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest were sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across. To the exit on the other side. You're not going to go let down the, um, the chain for me? Oh, this kid sneezing and coughing is gonna drive me crazy. Maybe it's maybe I'm just triggered after COVID or something. I say after COVID, but we are not after COVID. We're still in COVID. But man, that's just gonna drive me crazy. <laughs> all right, all right. There's a rope up here. <laughs> Silver. Come on, kid. Can you jump in your condition? Here we go. under his palm. We're almost there. Oh yeah, I remember that. Everything we just did. Climbed around a dead giant, rode a giant falling hammer, fought some bad gods. What do you think Mother would say? 
Bet you have come a long way. Thanks. I see something! Over there! Yeah, we haven't done this one yet. <clears throat> Return to the <clears throat> return to the lake of nine, hidden chamber. Chambers opened one of seven. This is hidden chamber of Odin. Oh, I hear it. Another one here. Ah, you know this one, don't you? It's Thamu. The giant stonemason. Is he building a wall around Jotunheim? It was to be his masterwork. He only wanted to protect his people. Too bad the first part got burned. I'd prefer the last panel was burned. Such a senseless pity. Shrines found, six of eleven. One of the panels is burned on this one. So we don't know what it says. The greatest stonemason and one of the biggest giants of all. He argues with his son Hrithman, er, Hrimthur, strikes him and gets lost looking for uh, looking for him. Thor chisels Thamer in the head and crushes a whole town. Thamer was building a wall around Jotunheim to protect giants from the Aesir. Did it ever get finished? Oh, this is the story that they were telling on the ship. I hear you. I hear you. Well, I heard you. It's over here. Maybe it is in the next room. Zach with an AK says there's a beatdown waiting for you in there. Oh. Okay. We'll do a uh, hard save. Well, where's the raven? I heard it. But I don't hear it over here. Okay, before I go down, I gotta find the raven. Sorry, everybody, but I hear it. Right there! It's fainter there. Maybe it's outside? I bet you it's outside. This place. It feels like... like a prison. That would explain the hefty magical lock on the outside. But it's more than that. I have this feeling. 
Like something is waiting for us down here. You've a knack for ominous statements, lad. <laughs> what kind of something? I'm not sure. Something powerful. Whatever you feel, boy, we will handle it. We have come this far, yes? Yes, father. <clears throat> Clenston Fire says it's downstairs. Oh, is it downstairs? Something powerful, says the boy. Hey, new location found. Mystic Gateway. Cleansed and Fire says there is one outside as well. Oh. Oh, what is that? You know it's bad when they just <clears throat> sprinkle out a, a bunch of health for you. A Valkyrie? Imprisoned? She actually did it. A Valkyrie? But I thought they were just spirits. Take caution, lads. A Valkyrie in the flesh. I can't think of a more formidable opponent. She does not attack. Does she even know we're here? Defeat a Valkyrie. I mean, no? Can I, can I say no? <laughs> hey. I mean, I don't want to be aggressive. Can we just be friends? Go! I think she knows we're here now. God. God. <clears throat> tricky, tricky. Tell you what, I'll just take it slow. How about that?
it slow. So that's it then. One second. I'm getting phone calls in the middle of battle. <clears throat> MG says, Ox, I got it. You look like the father protagonist from Fiddler on the Roof. Oh, thanks. <laughs> However, you're skinnier than him. Okay, again, thanks. Great movie, an awesome character. Well, it's very kind, MG. Very kind. So the shield doesn't do anything. Like it, it, uh, it blocks the first attack, but then it gets, it gets me stunned. Adam M says, red signals you can't block. Yellow will break your block, but if you parry a yellow, it'll give you a huge opening. Okay. Get away from it! 
cleansed and fire says you can go home, courier. All right. <clears throat> Q, Q is block and parry. How is Q block and parry? Cleansed in fire says, just so you know, she's one of the easy ones. Uh, I'm getting a handle on Perry. The thing is, uh, I parried one and then she went in for another attack, though. I'm trying to figure out how that worked. So I'm <clears throat> God, I can't even talk. So I'm parrying some of the attacks, but then after parrying attack, I have to parry an another attack? Uh, Cactus Muffin Warrior says, Hello, Ox. Hope you have a pleasant Easter Friday. Thanks. I hope you do too. Spartan Rage? I didn't have it up. Oh, my God. 
get distracted. I'm doing all right on parrying, but then um, if I'm if I'm close to her, she gets me locked in this attack combo with her wings that I can't parry. Um, these stabs with her wings, and I can't uh, back up far enough to get away from them. Like I have to predict when she's gonna do it and start running away. Then Zag with an AK says it's worth noting she's an optional boss. Thank you, Zach, with an AK. This isn't boring for you, is it? Like, <clears throat> I'm interested in the challenge. Are you guys getting bored? Uh, James Tucker says, Ox, you need to change your stats to maximize range to take out enemies like them. Right there! Oh, that hurt. My pain is not your concern.
close! Ah, so close! Strut and Stray Cat says, don't be afraid to throw the axe from a distance and use shield slash hand-to-hand combat when she closes in. Then you can do your special axe recall move. Adam M says, Ox, the god of Perry. I totally just woke up my roommate saying, no. MG says, should I start using get over it quotes? Maybe.
just awful. Did I mend that?
distracted. Come back. That was fun. Uh, Cleansed and Fire says you can win that fight. I know I can. I don't want to spend an hour doing it, though. I learned a lot about uh, parrying in that fight, which was fine, but I'm done. I'll come back to it. Adam M says, at least you know how to parry now. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm learning how to play the game, which is uh, important, you know. All right, there's a raven out here somewhere. Oh, you fogger! Gotcha. What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel room to Jotunheim, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye. But his hidden boat is very much in reach. The doors are beneath his temple, submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. Seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy.
Pissed off. Pissed off. Okay. Obviously, the marriage to Odin didn't last. But how did Fran end up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than hers. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. But still, he robbed her of her warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. In a world this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. Aye, lad. So would I. Julian Z says, Ox, just to let you know, I would not mind watching this for the rest of the stream. <laughs> it's fun seeing I need this mic out of my face level of concentration. La yeah. But right now I'm just pissed Ooh. off. Tears vault is behind that magical lock. I just need time to simmer down. Right now, I'm, I'm just like at a, at a, at a, I don't know. I just, I'll go back. Don't worry. Fault. Tears Bridge Another Interior. I will go back, but right now I just need to calm down. There's something over there. I need to fight her when I'm in like a Zen state. And I'm not in a it's Zen Tyr, state. But the middle panel is missing. Wait, I thought Tyr was a god, not a giant. Ah, but he was loved by everyone, including the giants. Other than me, he was the only one they gifted with their special sight. Hey, I wonder if the giants left a triptych about me somewhere, too. Well, I can't read this one because it's broken. Go ahead. Actually, come look. Let me show you how to read this. That is not necessary. You've taught me so much. Let me teach you something. Atreus. Come on. You already speak it. Learning to read won't be that hard. I know how to read, boy. Just not this tongue. You're half right there already, then. <laughs> okay. So the runes represent a lot of different things. Some gods. Some animals. Wait. Some... Oh, am I going too fast? Sorry, Not I'll... that. Do you smell something? Yeah, I do. Smells like... DEATH! Rain? <laughs> Thor! You ruined everything! I am that fucking hammer! But now, everyone's gonna think I only got it. Cause Magni's gone! Be a joke! Boy, if I kill you, no one's gonna laugh at me. Oh, are you dumb? That your father's doing? Or did you get it from your mum? She's stupid and ugly. Whoa! Don't talk about the boys, mom! No! Dad, Ray! That's true, but I'm gonna get to know you really well. You're gonna be my new brother, right after I finish killing your father! No! 
Did I not do it fast enough? Oh, I I thought I was Spartan raging there. Hold on. I held shift and did middle go mouse. Ahead. Actually, come look. Let me show you how to we read We got to go through that entire that torture scene again? So much. Let me teach you something. Oh, bull crap. Bull crap, bull crap, bull crap. Fine. What if you need to use one and I'm not there? This will be fun. Atreus. Can I skip come this? On. You already speak it. Learning to read won't be that hard. I know how to read, boy. Just not this tongue. You're halfway there already, then. How did he get in here, okay. by the way? So the runes represent a lot of different things. Some gods. Some animals. Wait. Some... Oh, am I going too fast? Sorry, Not I'll... that. He smells something. So where does he come from? Does he drop down, or...? Yeah, I do. Smells like... Rain? I guess he dropped down. You ruined everything. I earned that fucking hammer. But now, everyone's gonna think I only got it. Cause Magni's gone. Be a joke. Boy, if I kill you, I can't skip. no one's gonna laugh at me. You dumb. Now your father's doing. Or did you get it from your mum? She's stupid and ugly. Shut up! <laughs> you don't know anything about my mother. Oh, it's true. But I'm gonna get to know you really well. You're gonna be my new brother. Right after I finish killing your father! Get back! Okay, here we go. Whoops. Mostly God broke him. <laughs> oh. No. Stay back. Yeah, Kratos! Dad rage! Tear him up! Tear him up! Beat him with his own hammer! Oh, bitch! Run away, little Modi! Run, run now! This isn't over! Keep running! <laughs> I'm a god and I'm crying! Brother, the boy! Atreus! Kid. Kid! You have to get him to Freya quickly. There's no other way. What happened to the kid? Did he Spartan rage but he was too young and his little body couldn't handle it? Freya! Help me, Freya! How do we get to Freya? Ah, get away! He was trying to teach me how to read! Where's the boat? Take the boat. Freya's isn't far. Working on a guy. Oh, poor kid. Darth Knox says, Ox, note the weather now that the boy is in this condition. Yeah, I did notice the weather. Everything got darker. And there's ash in the air. Odin's eye is on you, brother. Especially now that you've taken to killing his kin. Hey, his forest is a blind spot for him. This is our smartest move. If anyone can heal him, it's hard. 
What is happening to him? I've seen it in mortals that some conflict of the mind expresses itself as an ailment of the body. Never in a god. But a god believing himself mortal. I can only imagine. Oh, we're almost there. The kid's a god, it's official. Julian Z says, at least we learn for all future screams when Ox moves the mic out of the way. Things are getting serious and angry. We need that on a t-shirt or an emoji. Yeah, I had to get the mic out of my face. Freya! Freya, help me, please! I'm coming! Somebody just called the serpent. Shaking. It's serious. We must hurry. I'm trying to. This is sprint hell down. Rich, help me! Freya! Open the door! We need your help! Woman, do you hear me? It is urgent! I'm still a god. Go away! The boy has fallen ill! Freya! Inside. This is no ordinary illness. The boy's true nature, your true nature, fights within him. I did this to him. Will you help me? Of course. There is a rare ingredient found only in Helheim. What? The keeper that protects the Bridge of the Damned. I need its heart. Mm. Hell. The Realm of the Dead. Do you know it? Not this one. It is a land of unyielding gold. Fires cannot burn there, and no magic in all the Nine Realms can create a blaze. As for the dead, your frost axe will be useless. You'll need to find something else. Then I must return home. What? We're losing the kid for a while? Dig up a past, I swore. Would stay buried. Who you were before doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son. And he needs his father. This rune opens the bridge to Helheim. When you are there, do not, under any circumstances, cross the Bridge of the Damned. There is no road back. Understand? Boy. Hey, Malay. You must hurry. Through my garden, there's a path leading to my boat. Take it. Return home. Dig up your past. Do whatever you need to do. Just bring me back the Bridge Keeper's heart, and your son may survive. Last we spoke, I was... No. You were right to distrust the word of a god. No need to explain. Not to me, not for that. I will keep him safe. That's a mother's promise. Oh. oh. Let's go save the kid. All right, we're going home, we're digging up a past, and I haven't played any of the past games, so 
Helheim of all places. You all right, brother? I will do what I must. Leave me be. Well, that's a flowery boat. Shot. I have no idea what that signifies, but I bet you guys do. Whatever it was, I could tell it was awesome. What did Athena do to him in the past? They'd better not throw any secrets or loot in my path right now because I'm on a mission.
<laughs> well, I couldn't use my axe on them. I had to get all fisticuffs. Here, club. Flail? There's nowhere you can hide, Spartan. Put as much distance between you and the truth as you want. It changes nothing. Pretend to be everything you are not. Teacher. Husband. Father. But there is one unavoidable truth you will never escape. <laughs> You cannot change. You will always be... a monster. I know. But I am your monster no longer. Let's see what those blades can do. Achievement unlocked! Hello, ah, yes, old friend. Will serve quite well in you know, I believe I see a door to the realm between realms over there, in your own front yard, no less. Take the shortcut back to the realm travel temple, then on to Helheim, yeah? One. For Leviathan Axe. Two. Oh, yes. <laughs> Cleansed in fire, says. New location found. Oh, that's my uh, portal back. 
Cleansed in Fire says, remember at the beginning of the game when Kratos was bandaging his arm with his back to his son because he didn't want him to see? This is why. Because he's been using these things for the past few games. Zach with an AK says, this is such great storytelling. I know, I'm just absolutely loving it. Adam M says, she had helped him, Athena, to unlock Pandora's box, but she didn't expect Kratos to have any hope in his heart. But he did, so her plan was foiled. I'm going to refresh Facebook here because I'm not seeing any of your <clears throat> uh, super chats. And then Garrett with the donation of stars on Facebook says, uh, Hi Ox and Dolan chat. Sorry I'm late. I did not get the notification. Maybe it's my Facebook. Was wondering, some of your Fallout 4 videos and your assassin build character is OP. You kill enemies with a knife easily. What did you spec in her? Have a great stream. I used the Fudge Muppet assassin build video to build my assassin character in Fallout 4. So just watch their video. They do great build videos. And um, you too can have a kick butt assassin. Deathica says, uh, the significance you're missing is that the blades were Kratos' classic weapons through eight plus games. This is the only game where he has just the axe. I did think I, I was able to piece that together. Thank you. Blades of Chaos. Blades imbued with the flames of the underworld, a relic of Kratos' past. No rose. Wooden blade grips. That's it. I don't get it. The only place I could go to was Brock's shop. Well, I'm pretty sure you weren't talking to me back there. Anything you'd like to get off your chest, brother? I can assure you I'm unsurpassed in keeping confidences. Well, you know where to find me. And for the record, I'd already guessed you were Greek. <laughs> Athena, dead giveaway. What? Hey! You reek of foreign magic! Sweet Nana's nethers. What are those? I've never seen the like. That's gotta be a family heirloom. No. Nor will it ever be. Son, my brother and me created me all near for the big idiot. I know from quality. And them, them special. Hey, where's the little turd? He has fallen ill. No. What happened? Aesir? No. The fault is mine. And my responsibility to make it right. Well, we all gotta take responsibility sometime. Huh? Say, what can I do to help him? I can do things. What I should tag along? No. Your work here is enough. All right. So where are you off to in such a hurry? The realm of the dead. Helheim? Shit, this is serious. I'll be keeping my eye on you. Gotta check my door real quick. Be right back.
Nothing at the door. But he's late. Right. I might have to get up here in a bit for five minutes, but um, I will be back. Don't worry, kids are tough. When I was his age, I cut my own head clean off, and I'm none the worse for wear. <laughs> to upgrade the Blades of Chaos, I need a Chaos Flame. Looks like he's got nothing for my blades. Now that Freya's given you the travel rune to Helheim, it should be unlocked on the table. Just texted me, he's seven minutes away. So, from what I gather, he did explore hell in the past, but it wasn't. But it was a different hell. I gather he explored Hades, the Greek hell, not uh, Helheim, the Norse hell. I put all those points into the kid and now I don't have him with me. I'll be watching your back. Let me take this moment to tell you that what you are about to do is absolutely insane. Not even Odin can survive this cold. So, I hope those blades work. Me too! <laughs> Sickly green cold. Is this the bridge Freya spoke of? No, we're still on the realm travel bridge. We're after the Bridge of the Damned. The dead use it to cross into their permanent home, the city of Helheim. The bridge keeper who minds admission, he's the one we want. Just follow this bridge, should lead us straight to him. Okay. You know, I'd really hope never to see this place again. Well, tough luck, buddy. You don't got legs. You're with me. That's rage. <clears throat> there we go. 
<clears throat> New bestiary updated. Hell Reaver Lord. <clears throat> These must have been strong reavers back when they were alive. Now that they're dead, they are even stronger. Hell Reavers! Family heirloom. New brooch artifact found. Hold to show in journal. I can't for some reason. Let's go to Codex. Uh, lore. Artifacts. Family heirloom. <clears throat> I've heard stories of the dead bringing offerings with them to Helheim. I wonder if they dropped these. Mother never wore any jewelry like this, so I've never seen anything like it. I'm sure Brock will buy these from us next we see him. Who wrote this? The kid's not here, but it's written in his voice. Use the fire of your blades to burn away that hell's bramble blocking the path. Hey, Spartan Charge, light, runic attack. A dash attack that slams enemies with a fiery shield and inflicts a small amount of burn damage. Hey, finally, here we go. Cool. 1500 to upgrade. Might as well. There's many reasons we went back for those blades. dead should be here. There's too many. The gate must be closed, and if the gate's closed, then it's true. Hell's full up. Without the Valk- Hell Shadow Archer! <clears throat> I should be able to help Father with these enemies, just like their projectiles disrupt his movements, my bow can disrupt theirs. Sorry to sort and cull them, Hell is overwhelmed. this now hmm. locked now what <laughs>
go around. Well, what's the point of this? You hear my dog? That means the guy has arrived. Okay, I need five minutes to show him what to do, and then I'll be right back, okay? Hang tight.
All right. Thank you for your patience. It turns out that um, there's a problem with a with uh, locating a stud in my house. I mean, there's not. But uh, aside from that, uh, uh, the worker's having a problem locating a stud. So he's going to go off and try and locate a stud. If he can't find one, then um, he's going to come back and I'm going to have to get up again really soon. So. Bestiary entry updated, Hellreaver Lord. These enemies will deflect Father's frost attack, uh, axe attacks. He'll have to use his fists instead to stun them. Adam M says, my stud finders never work either because they go off as soon as I pick them up. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Always a classic. Thank you for that one, Adam. Hellreaver Guard. It's a Hellreaver, but it carries a shield, and it knows how to use it. Guess they aren't completely mindless. Caused it to drop down. Cool. When we killed the Reavers near my home, they came here. How did they return so quickly? Time doesn't move the same between all realms, especially where the spirit world is concerned. Like the light of Alfheim. The opposite, in fact. The Lake of Souls feels faster than Alfheim time, but Hell is much slower than Midgard. Sorry, I'm sure that's confusing. If we will be back to my son all the sooner, that is good. Ah, aren't you a quick study? Let's <laughs> go. 
within hell. Oh, no, no. Valhalla is part of Asgard. Only the worthy dead go there. The warriors who die in glorious combat. <clears throat> hell Vicken. It's a Vicken, but a dead one, so a Hell Vicken? This Hell Walker is just as strong as its Seeger counterpart, maybe even stronger. Father can dodge his mace depending on the type of swing. Looks like it's best to dodge horizontal swings backwards and vertical swings sideways. Hell is for those who die in dishonor. Criminals. Aye, and those dead of disease, mishap, age. It is dishonorable to grow old. Well, never too late to go out fighting, I suppose. Oh my god! Cleansed in fire says Raven to your left and an artifact up high. Thank you. That climb there could lead us out if we can reach it. This is gonna drive me crazy. Oh my gosh! How is that not getting him? Use the axe! Oh. Oh yeah, thank you. That's what I should have done. Killing the bridgekeeper help the dead leave Midgard. I don't expect it will. Though I don't suppose it will make things any worse either. It'll be one less obstacle for the living to reach the inner sanctum of Helheim. But who'd be mad enough to go there? Yours truly. Alright, so this is the way out. The artifact is back here. There's another raven! <laughs> Where's the artifact? I got two ravens for the price of one. I hear another one. You hear that?
Let's go get it. Family heirloom. Gonna have to come here with the kid? I'm gonna have to come back with the kid. Ah. Hello. Hmm. I hear you. Bridge of the Damned. And there's the Keeper, making sure the dead are really dead. What is that he holds? That totem contains a powerful source of magical energy, the very power of Helheim itself. But what you want is his heart. Just take it and we can leave. How? Start some trouble. You can do that, right? Okay, so there's a chest over there. There's a wall I can't climb because there's a chain that's way too high. There's an electrical thing right there that I can't use right now because the kid isn't with me. And there's a platform uh, over there. So, DJ Lathe says, Lathe says, I just got my first job interview. I'm 16, not lazy. Congratulations, DJ Lathe. That's awesome. <laughs> Defeat the bridge keeper. I got a text from my worker. I need to step away for just a second. Um, I'll be right back.
All right. Uh, again, thank you for your patience. Uh, you know, this was the only time he had available to uh, help me with this project, and he couldn't find a stud, so ended up not uh, working out. I'm going to find a different solution, but that is beside the point. Most important thing right now is that I need a new cigar. Let's cut this bad boy. Okay, so what happens if I take out this guy's heart? I mean, I just finished playing Assassin's Creed where I killed Cerberus, the Hound of Hell, and then I had to run around and find someone to replace the Hound of Hell because it was disrupting things in the realm of the dead. What happens if we get rid of the gatekeeper? What's going to happen to everyone trying to get into hell? What if someone gets into hell who isn't actually dead? Oh, is that a big Valkyrie? Off in the distance there?
So close.
Now cut out his heart! Now the heart, brother. You'll have to get your hands dirty. Grant Haber says, so did Ox die yet? Don't ask. Those hands dirty, Kratos, that's right. Not to linger here, though, eh? Kratos. Zeus. Zeus? Turn the head around so we can My see. My father. Your father was Zeus? Well, that explains a lot. What is that place? Never go there. Understand? Is he here? That is not possible. It's just an illusion. Hell's known. Matiger Helson. Matiger Helson, also, uh, known as Helheim's son and bridgekeeper. Apparently, he was actually born and raised in Hell. Growing up in a troll tribe can't be an easy life, but growing up in Hell must be even worse. For torturing its inhabitants with their own past, we should focus on getting back to your son. No! So don't go here, huh? Hmm. Why not?
couldn't go there if I wanted to. The bridge is out. But look at those bridges. Wow. Many gates to hell. Yeah. Shh. Ain't supposed to be here. It's cold. Real quick, give me your blades. Why? Yeah, I said I'd help you and I aim to. Come on. Oh, my equipment's in Midgard. Be right back. Yeah. You don't suppose he nicked those, do you? There. And now they're ready for the winds of hell. Just target this magical glowy bit here with your blades and throw. Oh, all right. Winds of hell. Winds of hell are very unstable and can only be held for 10 seconds before returning to the last wind trap. Now target that wind trap with your blades. It's that little ball hanging in the middle of the door there. See it? Just let her loose. Whenever it damn pleases. So you're welcome and I'm leaving. This place is cold enough to freeze a pair of pigeon eggs. I sometimes wonder if there was once some sort of accident in his brain. We have been away too long. He just disappears. Oh, loot! Hey, got a chaos flame. One second. Sorry about that busy day. Busy, busy day in the Oxhorn household. Thank you for your patience. Salvaged Van Parts says, If Oxhorn knew what happened to the last guy Kratos interacted in a hell with, though, glad to see the blades back. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm going to have to play the other games or something, maybe. Well, very convenient that the dwarf just <laughs> popped out to help us. All right, capture, then transfer the winds of hell to power devices. Right. That's our ticket. New bestiary tip added. Hellwalkers seem to draw their power from the frost, which makes Father's Axe pretty weak against them. 
Good thing he's strong with his fists, too. I wish he had a fire weapon. Man, I'm gonna have to come back here with the kid. Interesting. How am I gonna do that? Oh, right. Etched Relic of Providence. Sorry, brother. I'm still stuck on what I heard back there. Zeus was your father? Not now. We should focus on getting out of hell. And with that, I cannot argue. I'll just contemplate that little nugget in silence then. Dude, a 
for Pete's sake. One parry in there. Ooh, deadly war handles. Rare bladed pommel. Strength 10, runic 6, luck 10. Traveler's armor shard, traveler's grizzly trophy. I also got a bestiary entry while I was doing that. Let's see. Bestiary, it was about the travelers. Hell, a hell traveler, and there we go. I didn't think the travelers could get much worse, but it looks like uh, death wasn't enough to keep this one down. In fact, it's even more aggressive than the other travelers we've seen. I guess even travelers can become hell walkers. Daddy of one in the chat says, hey Oxhorn in chat, better late than never. Glad you're here, my friend. So what was this that I got? What was the point of that? Oh. So I can chain it. Jerry tip updated ice nightmare they'll look straight up before firing their ice projectiles so we should either get out of the way or hit them with father's axe or my arrows So those are just reservoirs to hold it. There we 
go. I hear a crow. I hear a raven. Scary tip, the Hellbrood, their air slam attacks, oh, crap. their air slam attacks can leave us slowed. If they're up in the air, steer clear. Alright, where's the next one chained to? There. I gotta go all the way there. Oh wait, no, there's one right there. There it is. See if I can see the other one from over here. And yeah, I can. Okay. The beacon is lit. Oh, don't tell me I gotta go all the way back up there for this. <laughs> Cyclone of Chaos, light runic attack. A circling sweep attack that clears out all nearby enemies. All right, so we did Spartan Charge, which is great. Let's see, Cyclone of Chaos looks amazing. Look at that. Love it. Ooh, but I lose a lot of stun, a lot of damage, and a lot of burn. But it's crowd control. Let's upgrade it. Well, I only get one stun from that. Oh. Why 
have I only gotten light runic attacks? Why don't I have any heavy yet? They haven't given me any heavy yet. To get home to your boy already. Say hi to the pimple flap for me when he's better. Blades of Chaos upgrade. Chaos flame. Blade's Pommel. I currently have the Deadly War handles, which I got. And I think I'll just keep them for now. Melee combat, elemental combat. Let's see, I currently have Spear of Chaos. Oh. While aiming, press left click to impale an, an enemy. Cool. Perform attacks in quick succession without sustaining damage to power up the Blades of Chaos and inflict burn damage on every hit. Bonus to luck and runic. Wow. 1,500. Elemental Slash. Ooh, aim and press right click to perform a powerful sweeping attack that inflicts heavy burn damage. And this one is increase the amount of immolation gained on every successful blade hit. Melee combat. While sprinting, press left click to execute a powerful double slash attack that staggers enemies. Press uh, right click during the second to last light combo attack to add a heavy combo finisher. <clears throat> what is that, three? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold right click to perform a powerful attack that launches enemies into the air. Hold left click to perform a powerful attack that strikes all enemies around Kratos. All right. Two thousand. Ooh. Okay. Let's go back to the kid. Shouldn't delay, brother. It's straight back to Midgard with that heart. Your father was Zeus. I finally understand. I'm dangling from the hip of the bloody ghost of Sparta. Do not call me that. Oh, don't mistake me, brother. From what I heard, the Pantheon had it coming. But it's still a bit to take in. I knew you hate gods, but you really can't stay away from them, can you? You must say nothing to the boy. He must never know. Bollocks, brother. Respectfully, bollocks. He has to know. <laughs> He'll never be whole without the truth. Look, I get it. You hate the gods. All gods. It's no accident that includes yourself. 
and it includes your boy. Can you see that? He feels that. He can't help what he is. He can't begin to help it because you haven't even told him. It's all connected, man. You will tell him nothing. Very well. Bollocks, man. Respectfully, bollocks. This is Midgard. Hey, so you know that shortcut between realms? Well, I made it better. Or I might have broke it. We use that. I know what you do. So I took a few cuss from them winds of hell and made it so it ain't just one way. Now you can use it to travel to and from. If I didn't break it. Then we can take it to Freya. There's an idea, brother. Ooh. Might be some kinks to sort out, but you'll make it. Oh, great. Just go, brother. Does that mean uh, I'm going to be fighting some baddies? I think I might be fighting for some baddies. Well, you gentlemen certainly know how to get around. Kinks to work out. Let's see what these kinks are. Not bad. Don't stray from the path. Right. Uh, tempting, but all right. No. Well, this isn't right. Eh, but close enough. He did say there were kinks. We must hurry. You have it. Yes. Back of your hand. He is still ill. I can break the fever, but to heal... He must know the truth of what he is. Yes. It is not so simple. Help me prop him up. Did I tell you that I have a son, too? It's been... forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. Babe in my arms was so small, so helpless. I knew right then I would do anything to protect him, no matter the sacrifice. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Ooh, she's teaching him a lesson. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. Who is her son? I know the truth isn't simple. But nothing is when it involves your child. Are we gonna have to kill her son? It is a curse. The boy has been cursed. Without me. I will not. That's it. Wow, that was fast. That's a potent heart. Only had to kill the gatekeeper to hell. I'm better now. <laughs> I see that. Is he well enough to travel? For now. It won't happen again. I promise. Can't promise you that, kid. See that it does not.
Achievement Fair. unlocked. Promise fulfilled. I will not forget this. Complete the sickness. Thanks. Your father did the heavy lifting. You should stay, recover. You have done enough. You know my door is always open to you. All right. That's Venon, isn't it? You figured that out, did you? Well, the window looks like Bifrost Crystal. And I know that's not what's on the other side of the wall. And, well, it makes you sad. You are wise for one so young. Yes, this is a window to a home I left long ago. But it is only a view. The thing that happened to you in Alphon. You can't leave Midgard, can you? A gift from my former husband upon our separation. Mm. Why would Odin trap you in Midgard? Petty cruelty would be reason enough for him. But as with all his rash decisions, he's driven by fear. The Vanir were the greatest threat to the Aesir until our marriage brokered peace. Many of the Vanir now think I betrayed them. The fruits of my sacrifice. To be hated by my own kind. Mm. To trap me here is to ensure I can never make it right. Um, so I was wondering, why do you live under a turtle? <laughs> he was my first friend here in Midgard. He offered me shelter, and in return I provide him with protection against the evils of the forest. Golden boar, giant turtle, you sure have some interesting friends. Sagi Rigatoni says, hey, first time watching live. I hope you're enjoying the game, and if you like it enough, will you play the second one when it comes out? Oh, absolutely. I can al already tell you that I do like it enough. Now then, before Modi so rudely interrupted us, we were just about to explore Tyr's vault. Yes, to find the Black Rune. Boy... Do you know the way from here? Oh, I don't know. Sure you do, lad. We need a boat. I don't know. I guess we need a boat. Okay, then. And the boy seems maudlin. Hello. What's this now? <laughs> Okay. So where does it go? Guess I probably should have found that first, huh? Oh, there it does. Right. The boy's not even asking me how, where these new weapons came from, how I'm doing this. Got a corpse down here. All right, where is the next one? So I bring it here to chain it somewhere. Where's the next one? There. Ooh. Oh man, I'm gonna have to do a mad dash.
Oh, here's another mirror. I didn't think anything could get through all that hell bramble. Rampage of the Fury is a light runic attack. I just got the Cyclone of Chaos. Now I've got the Rampage of Fury. Whoa, that looks awesome. Oh, that looks awesome. I'm doing that one. Heck yeah. 1500 to upgrade. I get plus one to damage, plus two to burn. Oh yeah. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. Love it. Now, what is in there? Chamber number two, Rockland F. Hidden Chamber of Odin. Rockland F, a member for 27 months and a silver ox, says, Since Kratos is a dad, are we allowed to tell dad jokes this broadcast? Lol, thanks for being so patient and neighborly for all of us on the channel. You're indeed welcome. Let me check the Facebook chat as I haven't seen it refresh in quite some time. I wonder why Facebook chat is having a hard time today. It's uh, not wanting to load correctly. Yeah, even now, it's still thinking while I'm refreshing the, uh, the chat here. All right, nothing new. Let's see what's in here. Does this mean another Valkyrie? Oh no, is that what this is? No, not another Valkyrie.
one second. Okay, well, another very similar chamber. Yeah. That's a Valkyrie. Sigil of Menace. Right, well at least I'm going into this one with full Berserker Rage. I hear a raven. What's down here? A horn. this raven. Another Valkyrie. What should we do with her? Whatever you do, just be careful. The wolf summon very effective against them. Yeah, I'll try the wolf summon. Wrath of the wolf. Let's upgrade it. Ready yourself.
Well, this one is even worse than the last one. So we're gonna skip it. Yeah, not doing that. Let's see, actually, can we... Can't use that? Why can't we use that? Right, we'll try the Valkyrie again when we've got a better toolkit and we're a bit more experienced. For now, I think we've opened up everything we needed to here. And that's where we initially got the, uh, the fire ember. What's this? That leads out. See? The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a serpent earlier. Nope. Still kinked. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought... Maybe things were different. Come on, Kratos. Be a dad for once. You do not know everything, boy. Drop it and talk to him. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth. I am a god, boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is, I was born a god, and so were you. Boy, have you nothing to say? Um, can I turn into an animal? <laughs> can you turn into 
an animal. <laughs> no. No, I do not think so. I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? I had hoped to spare you. Being a god, it can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? Wait till puberty! I don't feel like a god. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, you will learn. You sure I can't turn into a wolf? You are welcome to surprise me. <laughs> you can try. Is this why I hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So, maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. Well, I'm proud of Kratos. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Barak and Sindri? They do not need to know. <gasps> Baldur! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Baldur. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Tears Vault, do we? I mean, we're God. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing right now? I will show you. I have 40 minutes left. The mirror. There was a shrine about a giant lady with lots of books and, and visions. Ah, that would be Groa, the knowledge keeper. She was a gifted sorceress, who gathered every tome of arcane wisdom she could find in the realm. Let's try this again, without interruptions. I don't think I have time to complete a side quest. I think um, those are going to take... Here we go again. Well, I might be able to. You ready? I'm really curious about what was interrupted here. Are you teaching me how to read now, kid? Read it. Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Earth. Soil. Is that the answer there? It says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. Go. Yeah. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure <laughs> that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself, or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. A god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful. 
using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods? Once in a moon it's been known to happen, yes. Well, I hope this new-found godhood doesn't go to his head. This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr. Showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for the Aesir. Same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim town. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. How are these brazers still lit? Man, those logs last a long time. But it's always that same question whenever we explore dungeons. Where is this Black Rune head? Don't know. I've never been in here. We can't leave here without the Black Rune. Come on. We can do this. The stone! That has to be it! Area discovered. Tears Vault. Whoa! Whoa! Naturally. Okay. So, some sort of riddle? I didn't think it would be that easy. No. I was kind of hoping, though. Deactivate the so vault's defenses. Well, I feel like a Fallout game with all the vault talk. All right, well, let's see here. We got all sorts of uh, gold and treasures. But of course, Kratos isn't interested in that. He just wants hack silver. Can we smash? We can smash. Okay. Time to figure out this riddle. Let's see. Oh, okay. Hold on, let's wait for this. Brother, right. a trap for the winds of hell. But where do you think the winds are? The winds of what? Oh, we forgot to mention that. When you were sick, we went to Helheim to get your cure. You did? Terrible experience, by the by. Your dad picked up a new trick, though, with a little help from Brock. Brock was there, too? I... but... <laughs> we'll get back to this later. He's like, I missed an adventure. Okay, well... You may lose it, brother.
Right. Well, that's unfriendly. Very unfriendly. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> God. Look, small passages on either side. Perfect for the boy. It's too small for him. Oh, yeah. I'll be fine. Whoa. Careful, brother. Rhea's not here to bring you back if you're cutting too much. Oh, really? Olive oil? Beer? That's him? Painted on a vase? <laughs> What'd you find? Enough distraction. Do not forget why we are here. Okay. That's from a great desert land, very far from here. Do gods live there? Oh my, yes. Many, many gods. Egypt. Good or bad? And not as simple as that, I'm afraid. Rats and bugs. Okay. Something glowing over there. What is over there? So we're hunting for runes. Gotcha. That's where we came. Okay, but are there any more runes in here? Or do we keep going to find more runes?
guess we keep going. Uh, what brutal. did you see in that vault that set you off? It is not important. Seemed important to you. It was a rash impulse. You need not dwell on my failings. Wow. That was almost an apology. Well, I guess you do like to Ah! Alright, I found something I can climb. <laughs> I mean, I do smash pottery. Up. Stands to reason the second ring should behave like the first. Just need to capture the winds. Just need to capture the wind. Okay. Hmm. What of these? Thought is faster than wind. Something to be solved with our heads rather than our feet. Suits me fine. Rune Vault Clue, Thought is Faster Than Wind. Tears testing our minds in here. Sounds like this is a door that opens. Thought is Faster Than Wind. You know, for someone so loved, Tyr sure was paranoid. Ah, thanks to Odin, with good reason. Oh, 
Okay, so there's the one emitting the wind. Where's the one where we put the wind? Oh, it's on the other side. Oh, I see. Okay. Just gotta wait for it to come around to this side. Can I only do it from the ground? I guess I can't reach it from here. All right, uh... Okay, there's no way to do it by climbing that. And yet we have to be on this side in order to get it. Can we even... Okay, so... Jeez, we gotta try it from down there. Got that active again. Great. Oh. Focus up, boy. So wait, we're back in here again, though. Did we do this one again? hurts me or not. I want to learn. Just because you hate being a god doesn't mean I have to. More small passages. I know. Go. I can't watch, brother. Good luck. I thought those saws were scary. Alright, a new treasure room. Let's see if we can find another room. A uh, room. Look! It's the wolf giants. Skull and Hati. That's right. The bringers of day and night. Ragnarok begins when they catch the sun and moon. 
right? Did Tyr know them? I don't know. Like them well enough to cover a massive wall in his vault with them, though. Hmm. All right, so we gotta move those somehow. Looks like a gear we could fiddle with. I suppose we should go power it up. Wait a minute. There was a rune in the last one. Don't you enjoy it at all? Being a god? On an adventure in some amazing place? Maybe Mother wanted us to have a little fun. Everything we've seen and done. Maybe it was her gift. Okay, so we got to race in there to activate that one. Um... Uh... Okay, there it is, active up there. Wait for it. It's never gonna turn around over here, though. So... Enemies ahead! Gloom Nightmare, father can hit them twice on the same axe throw, one on the throw and again on the recall. Okay, but now I gotta get all the way. There we go. That puts it back on that one. Clever. Chases the sun. For Ragnarok to happen, they have to eat them. These are out of order. Good boy. So the moon goes on the left, sun on the right. With Midgard in the middle, but which bar do I pull? The middle! Oh no. <laughs> the left. 
The middle! Gotta get them in order. Blue left, sun right. With Midgard in the middle. The right, boy! Middle bar! Moon on the left, sun on the right. Midgard in the middle. Middle bar! Left, boy! The middle! Moon, Midgard, Sun. Moon, Midgard, Sun. Think! Pull the right! Right? Get it! Well, I can't drown. Guess that's something. <laughs> Great! More death! Always more death! Boy, you have to stop that chain! How? I... I do not know. Wait, I know what to do. Her knife? Was this the way Tyr envisioned it would work? I know. But it saved you. That was cunning, boy. <sighs> I'm over time! What tears got for us? Oh no, the raised protection room. It rubbed off. What should we do? We keep going. What does it mean now that Freya's protection room is off? And where are the other runes that we. I mean, we, we destroyed one rune, but we don't even see the chest that the runes are supposed to go to. And we haven't found the other three. There it is! We've got it! Your knife is gone. Boy. Yeah. Whoa! How'd you do that? On the day you were born, I made two knives. Mixing metals from my home and from this land. One for myself, and when you were ready, one for you. Today is that day. <clears throat> Today is the day you become a man. So I'm a man now. You're a man Like now. you? No. No, no, not a man. We are not men. We are more than that. The responsibility is far greater. Must be better than me. Understand? Say it. I will be better. The power of this weapon, any weapon, comes from here. The shoulder? But only when tempered by this. Temper your I shoulder with the brain. The self control of the one who wields it. That is where the true strength of a warrior lies. You must never forget that. Good then. Come.
blank. <laughs> Wait! Oh, oh man, I'm over time! I don't have time Rune, for this! Did you see it? Yes! Are you certain? I got it! Trust me! Good then. Aim for the face. Died to the Grendel of Frost was almost dead. Where's it gonna put me? Focus up. for us gods. I have yes, beaten right. bigger. Puny troll. Yeah. Hey, hey, I'm heavy. I'm turned around. Finally. Which way is the sand ball back up? Grendel of the Ashes. This must have been the other Grendel's brother, or maybe the Ashes is a different kind of title that the fire trolls use to honor their kind. There's so much we don't know about trolls, but I guess the most important thing to know is that they are all trying to kill us, so we have to kill them first. That's what father would say anyway. 
Grendel of the Frost. Grendel of the Frost was the stuff of legend. Even Mother thought he was just a myth. It was said that Grendel was the strongest and most feared among the Stone Troll tribe. They hold the name the Frost in the highest regard and only give it to someone who is to be honored and revered. And now he's dead. Serves him right for trying to kill us. <sighs> Treasure! Oh yeah. Weightless groups of protection. All right. Moderate perk activation chance to grant protective barrier. So, low perk activation chance to grant gift of strength. 10, strength 10, luck. So I swap out luck for defense and I gain. Oh, I lose six runic. But the protective barrier is nice. Unsuccessfully landing rising fury on an enemy. Not worth it. But now we've got Tartarus's Rage, a destructive slam attack that hits enemies with two blade slams. We'll do it. Any more treasure? Hard save. Right, I'm about 15 minutes over time, and it looks like uh, this is perfect timing because I'm starting to see some red on my dash here, uh, which means I've got a bit of an internet connection issue. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use this moment to bow out. Thanks everybody for joining me for God of War Friday. Um, I'll see you all again next week for Mass Effect Monday, Assassin's Creed Wednesday, more of the new game, I forget the As As Asplanov Thursday, and God of War Friday. New lore video for the weekend. See you all next week. Bye-bye now.